The Atlantic City update for Fallout 76 is live, and alongside the two new expedition missions, a host of other changes and announcements have been made. In today's video, we're running through 10 different things you may have missed with the update, as well as some of the latest news in the form of a new community calendar. So, kicking things off with that, the standout item is, of course, a confirmed date for Atlantic City Part 2, which will see a long-awaited return of story quest lines and side quests. Taking a closer look at the entire calendar, though, December sees the return of the Holiday Scorch between December 19th to January 2nd, with a new challenge event closing out January as well. This one will be called Burning Love, and will be active until February 13th. Fasnatch also returns in February, but March does look like the most exciting. With a new scoreboard, Season 16, which will also be Atlantic City themed, to sit nicely alongside America's Playground, the much anticipated Part 2 of the new update. The two new expedition missions were of course the focus of Part 1, but there was also another slight adjustment to expeditions in general that you may have missed, and this was actually an increase of stamps gained for completing any expedition. Taking a look at this table, the amount of stamps rewarded for the Atlantic City missions have been increased to 15, which is considerably more than the pits, but also, all missions have seen daily bonuses increase as well. Previously this was a plus 2 bonus, but it's now a plus 8 for the pit, and plus 5 for Atlantic City. A welcome change indeed. Another adjustment relating to expeditions, next time you're perusing the plans at Giuseppe's Curios, any known expedition plans and recipes you already know will no longer show as available. And if you wanted to learn more about backstory and lore of the Atlantic City update, then make sure to speak to Jeremiah Hopkins in the White Spring. With some speech checks, he can reveal far more than he should about the delicate relationship between the city's factions and the true threats that await you in Part 1, as well as some hints about awaits us in Part 2. The update day atomic shot was a cracker this time around, with two items in particular standing out from the rest. The clear weather station is available for free in the atomic shop, but it wasn't the only weather station to arrive as snow weather for your camp is here, in time for Christmas after all. And it looks amazing in-game, as we see with these two camps built by Thor, Odin and Stortir from the Waysand Theatre Company, with the snow providing a perfect final touch for her gingerbread house and not Skyrim builds. We'll be back for a full tour of these two amazing camps later this month, so definitely look out for that showcase. One major downside to the snow that we have to talk about though, is the 1200 atom cost. Honestly, I was a bit surprised at how pricey this was for a single weather station, with presumably many more in the pipeline. I was actually expecting around the 500 atom mark, but let me know in the comments how you feel about that. On to the other item, and we have the Neapolitan Casino interior, but actually it's the latest camp shelter. The High Stakes is a perfect clone of the casino you can find in Atlantic City, cleared of decorative items, allowing you to fill out this enormous space however you see fit. Definitely looking forward to seeing what builders do with these. Next time you find yourself at any location with a free fast travel point, look out for donation boxes. These were first introduced outside Vault 76, but these can now be found throughout the wasteland perfect for helping out those new players anywhere at any time. Running through some smaller changes now, legendary creatures will now drop a legendary item corresponding to their rank, which is great to see implemented at long last. And there have also been wholesale changes to crafting food items. The recipes and effects of melee buffs have been fundamentally changed, and none will stack like they did before, and to counter this there are also significant increases instead. There are also some new light variants thrown into to balance this even further. And there were some pretty big changes to some enemy types, Robots, anglers, floaters, and pretty much any enemy with an inherent missile based attack saw those damage numbers reduced drastically. Here's a full table of the affected enemies though. That's it for now though. The December update brought quite a lot to Fallout 76 when it comes to smaller adjustments and added flair for the base game. Look out for a mission guide video on the channel soon, where I'll be covering everything you need to know about the two new missions, spawn locations, and rewards for Atlantic City Part 1. How do you feel about the new update and the two new expeditions though? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed this particular video, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post a variety of Fallout 76 content, so turning on the bell icon is definitely the best way to stay up to date. With that said though, I'm off. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.